They're in the gate. And they're off in the Kentucky Derby. And promises fulfilled, great start. Flawless as well for Justify coming out of the gate. Both girls flashing speed on the outside, and so is Noble Indy. And Good Magic is not far behind either. Beneath the iconic Twin Spires for the first time. Promises fulfilled out to set the pace. Justify is right there racing in second. Good Magic in behind while third. Both girls racing in fourth. Flame away on the inside in fifth. Forenze Fire moves up to be sixth. Noble Indy is seventh. Mendelssohn is off to pace today racing in eighth free drop billy down inside ninth audible pushed along in 10th bravazo is 11th enticed is running along in 12th combatant is wide on the first turn in 13th magna moon is 14th lone sailor is 15th hoffberg is at the back of the pack racing in 16th by three then we come back to instilled regard in vino rosso five or six more back to my boy jack solomini is the last of them all a brutal half mile in the slop in 45 and three fifth seconds and just like that, Justify seizes the lead with a half mile to go in the Kentucky Derby. Promises fulfilled, trying to keep up second and inside. Flame away is not far behind, racing third. Bolt Duros three wide on the far turn in fourth. Forenze fired on inside fifth. Champion Good Magic moves up one spot while wide on the far turn. Farther back, Bravazo starting to muster up a rally. Going past Noble Indy. Ottawa starting to pick it up with three furlongs to go. Instilled regards finding his best stride as well. So is Vino Rosso on the far out side as they race for the top of the stretch with Justify the one to catch. Here comes Good Magic on the outside for the final quarter mile. Justify turns for home in front. Good Magic in a full out drive with three sixteenths to go but Justify and Mike Smith are digging down on a two length lead. Good Magic is wandering about the track from far behind Audible Rallies to be third. They're coming to the final sixteenth and it's Justify and Good Magic in Audible. Justify in a two length lead. Final try from Good Magic all rise for Justify. The Kentucky Derby was never in doubt. Wins by two and a half. It's tight for second between Good Magic and Audible. Instilled regard was fourth. In the gate. And they're off for the 143rd running of the Preakness and a good break there for Justify. A good Magic got the jump. Justify on the outside is Brabazzo as they race through the foggy first furlong here at Old Hilltop. On the inside is Good Magic, but Justify going right to the front, just a neck in front. Bravazo third on the outside, and then followed by Quip, and then on the outside, the two path. As they move around that first turn is Diamond King. Diamond King's only about three or four lengths off the lead, tenfold on the outside of that one, and back to Sporting Chance, who's racing to the back of the pack with Lone Sailor, who trails the field. 23.11 posted for the opening quarter, and Justify on the outside has ahead in front, but good magic testing him every step of the way of the opening stages. It's another two lengths. And the Calumet colors of Brabazzo racing in third. Quipped out of the inside in fourth. Tenfold is fifth. And Diamond King is next in sixth. And still sporting chance in the back of the pack with Lone Sailor on the outside as they head now past the half in 47 point one nine seconds, four furlongs left to go, and it is good magic, justify. They've matched strides virtually from the start as they round the far turn, six furlongs in 111.42, and they're kicking four, five lengths clear. They begin to quicken up now, tenfold on the outside, and in the meantime, down to the inside, Bravazo working a little bit harder as they move to the top of the stretch, a head and head battle, looks like a showdown in the fog. It is good magic on the inside. Inside, justify on the outside, even turns, and they're head to head into the stretch as they make the turn for home. And now, justify and Mike Smith trying to grab the lead. Justify, justify begins to pull away. Justify is in front. Justify, and here's tenfold on the outside. Bravazo, justify, Bravazo, tenfold. Then good magic and lone sailor followed by sporting chance and diamond king. And Quip was last to cross. Justify, it wasn't. They're off in the 150th Belmont Stakes. And it was a very good beginning for Justify, who goes immediately to the early lead in the race to the first turn. So it will be Justify to set the pace here. And there on the outside goes Restoring Hope, the other Bob Baffert trainee, who's wide into that turn and in running in second position. Right in behind them in third is Bravazo. Noble Indy is off the pace. And then on the inside comes Tenfold. The opening quarter mile was a swift one. 23.37 seconds. 
Very fast pace for Justify, who will lead the field on to the backstretch here with his stablemate, Restoring Hope, sitting in second. And on the inside, Bravazzo is third. Noble Indy is fourth, tenfold fifth. Vino Rosso sixth. The blended citizen on the outside. Followed by Hofberg and Free Drop Billy. Gronkowski is last. They've slowed things down a bit. 48.11 was the half. That's just a bit faster than American Pharoah went three years ago. Justify and Mike Smith, the Kentucky Derby and Preakness winner, head up the backstretch in the Belmont Stakes with a length lead. Restoring Hope on the outside is second. Bravazzo is down toward the inside. Noble Indy is next. Vino Rosso is close up running in fifth. He's five lengths off the lead. Three quarters went in one minute, 13.21 seconds. Halfway home in the Belmont. And then comes tenfold on the inside of Blended Citizen. Hofberg is drafting in behind horses. Six lengths off the lead. Free drop Billy and Gronkowski, the last of them all. And Mike Smith and Justify make their run into the far turn. They've got a two length lead. Restoring hope is put to a ride as Vino Rosso begins to rev it up on the outside. Bravazzo is down toward the rail. They've run a mile in 138.09 seconds. Justify is the leader, but it's just a half length advantage here. Vino Rosso comes under a ride. Mike Smith has not asked Justify to go just yet. Justify a length lead here as they come to the top of the stretch. Vino Rosso is second. Hofberg comes on the scene, and Gronkowski has cut the corner, and they're into the stretch. And Justify comes roaring home to a raucous Belmont Park with one furlong to run. Gronkowski and Hofberg trying to run him down. Vino Rosso is fourth, a 16th to go. Justify is still there. Justify from Gronkowski. He's just perfect, and now he's just immortal. Justify is the 13th Triple Crown winner. Gronkowski was second, Hofberg was third, and Vino Rosso was fourth. Justify has done it.